Hello, this is China LayRace.com and today I will show you how to make looped snowflakes in Adobe After Effects or just looped particles. So this will be a perfect loop of snowflakes and tran transition will be invisible. So let's begin. I will be making mine in Adobe CS6. Let's make new composition, 4K 60 FPS. Also, if you want to download this project file, uh, search for the link in video description. Okay, make a new solid. So, search for Particle CC particle wo particle world in effects and presets and drag this effect on our snow solid. Okay, let's change longevity to five seconds. Let's go to physics and chain. Let's leave explosive velocity zero gravity. Let's make 0 0.05. Let's go to particle. Change to, change to faded sphere. Make birth size 0 0.05. And the same for depth size. Let's change, change birth color to white and depth color to also white. Now let's go to producer and make the radius 0 0.6 and also Z radius 0 0.6 and let's change the position move it to up okay let's see how it looks okay let's make now that our snow particles stays on the ground so let's go to physics floor and floor action ice Okay. Okay, that's it for this animation, snow animation. Later, I will add a rot uh, camera rotation. So, but for now, let's leave it as it is, and let's make this video looped. So. Our particle longevity is five seconds, so go, go in at five seconds in the timeline. This is where our video becomes consistent because our particles are dying off and are born new. But particle count, count stays the same all the time at five seconds mark and select snow layer and click multiply button on keyboard or go to layer and add marker now drag this layer this marker to the start of the timeline and extend the animation Okay, now let's duplicate this layer and drag this marker to the end of our animation like this. So we have two layers, now we have to blend them together. We have our 
start point and end point. So if I single this layer, you can see that on this layer particles are just starting to be born. So on this layer we have to make sure that our no new particles are born exactly at 5 seconds. So on this layer we will have particles dying out and on this newborn particles. So select this first layer and go to birth rate and click stopwatch. Go to the let's see our keyframe by pressing U and go one frame forward and press enter zero. So let's single this layer out. And at the end we have no new particles. I mean no particles at all. And if we look at both layers, the last and first frames are exactly the same. Okay. Now one thing to make is to actually drag this marker past one frame. So we, we don't have to have exactly the same first frame and last frame because we, we will have a small stop if we do this. We have to make this frame past so when from the last frame it goes to the first we have a nice transition. I hope that makes sense. Okay, now we can add as we have perfect loop we can add a camera rotation. So we don't need new camera for this. Let's go to let's just go to snow first layer and go to extras effect camera click rotation y on stopwatch and go to the last frame and enter one and do the same on this layer go to the first frame and while well, first layer selected hit stopwatch on rotation y and go to the last frame and enter one and now select both layers and hit U on keyboard select these both key keyframes and drag them past one frame also So that's it. Let's see how it looks. Okay, loop, loop uh, looks perfect and we have no opacity transition. And okay, that's it for this quick video tutorial. And if you want to download this project file, just search for link in video description. And thank you for watching and goodbye.